guys it is blockchain coming at you with an exciting announcement i am going to be doing another masterclass giveaway this february um so for the entire month long for every single uh, i guess we'll comment like and subscribe um so you have to have all three of those but for every single comment on the videos you will actually be entered into a drawing for a free master class so i've done a couple i uh, did a couple last year but this is my first one this year so all february long make sure you guys comment subscribe and like the video um and just in regards to supporting the channel um i will be doing a drawing at the end of the month for one free master class so without further ado let's go ahead and dive into the charts guys Alright guys, it is Blockchain coming at you with another Bitcoin technical analysis update. Uh, for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Corey aka Blockchain um, and I'm primarily an Elliott Wave trader and I also use other indicators and strategies to complement my technical analysis and uh, if you have not got done so already, jump over to my website, it's in the links below, blockchaintatrading.com. Hit this little get in touch, get my uh, number one trading strategy that's completely free. It's actually a video demonstration of how to set it up and how to walk you through um, how to use it and everything as well. So um, there's that and as well as the exclusive Discord for a 14-day trial for just 25 bucks or $97 a month. Or you can do the yearly, which is half off the monthly subscription. And of course, the class that I'll be giving away for free for just for uh, supporting my channel here is the uh, Masterclass for its basically priced at $297. All together, it's over a $500 value. Um, so make sure you guys subscribe, smash the likes, and comment below so that we can get your entry into the free drawing at the end of the month. So let's go ahead and dive into the charts real quick. And um, let's see where we are at. So obviously, we had some crazy moves uh, with Bitcoin making a new all-time high the other day with the announcement that Tesla was buying $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin. Um, and a couple of different scenarios I want to pay attention to to and just highlight um so was, actually let's pull up the uh disc channel here um and there's just a couple of charts i wanted to highlight from yesterday um one that we are potentially in a b wave um uh, which we hit that 48 300 mark yesterday to a t um and before we had a little bit of a, a pullback and consolidation um so this is the scenario for a b wave um and then we also have this scenario here which is pulled up on the other chart, which I'll walk you through both um, in regards to potentially just being on wave four inside of the wave three. So either way, uh, we had a nice little juicy short yesterday on that uh, $48,300 mark um, down to really that 45,500, maybe a little bit less. Um, and a couple of key areas I just want to highlight. So we have this right here, which is our weekly, or I'm sorry, yeah, our weekly R3, uh, which is at 42,003, let's call it 42,400 dollars that we did break yesterday. Came back, retested it there, support, and then just blasted off again. Um, so what we are seeing right now with a little bit of consolidation and we're seeing some of these indicators and oscillators reset is making me lean a little bit more towards us being in a fourth wave right now uh, for another kick up to about 51.5. So that is definitely something that I'll be watching for, paying attention to. We also have this green line right here, which is also the daily R2 resistance, which we are on top of and establishing it as support. Um, so as long as we are maintaining that, that is definitely healthy. Um, and I just look for us to continue to print that uh, bullish divergence there and kick off and be looking for another wave to get us up to the 1.618 at 51.5k. Um, once we do that, I would expect another larger wave four, potentially come back down and retest the daily again at 45.5. But ultimately looking for a move up to 61.2K to finish off this move uh, that we have going. So um, after we get that, I would expect a, a pretty decent correction afterwards at that point. Um, and but who knows, you know, it is Bitcoin and we just play it level by level and we go from there. So um, ETH. Uh, again, just an update from the video that I was looking at the other day um, and from the highlights. So we were looking for some consolidation up here on top of the trend line that we had. Um, this overall, we had a nice little three wave move down. Um, and what we could potentially be in at is this whole thing being a wave one right now. Um, and this starting off are basically our wave three, um, which could take us up ultimately um, to, uh, let's see. 
shrink this down a little bit. We have the 1.618, which is uh, for ETH, which is about 2550 could potentially be an end target that I'm looking at here. Um, so we, the question is, um, you know, is this right here? Is this move? Is this a wave, um, a new wave one? Um, and this is the basic wave one inside of the wave three. Um, because if so, um, then we have uh, some pretty significant room to go on ETH here. Um, and oops, let's get this guy back up here, get a little bit more of an accurate representation. There we go. Um, but basically right here, you can see where that uh, looks like it's again, a fourth wave consolidation, um, and would get another little kick up on this particular move here, um, near term for basically 1930 is what I'm looking for. Um, so as long as we're kind of, again, we're sitting here consolidating, uh, that is overall healthy in my opinion, which we are seeing some of the indicators actually reset, retesting the bottom of the volume band, um, and looking for another kick. So really 1921 is really what I'm looking for move to get up to for potentially another wave one, two, and then three, four, five to get up to basically 2550. Um, so all looks pretty healthy in my opinion here. Um, let's take a quick look at some sush, a little bit of sushi. All right. Um, so sushi playing out. Um, we didn't quite get up to that 19.9 that I was looking for, um, but it's okay because we are still up here consolidating. Um, let's actually go out to a little bit of a higher time frame here. Um, and what we're looking for overall for this count looks like you know we are in a third wave. Um, so we could see a little bit more of a um, pullback um, as we go through and continue in this overall to be, um, in my opinion, a fourth wave. So we could see a little bit more of a pullback. We might not get down to the 9.1. But um, really between where we're at at 13.7 um, down to 9, um, you know, I could, would expect a little bit of movement. I don't see it's taking off quite yet. Um, you know, we did have the uh, RSI, <clears throat> actually, you know, you can see 100% reset here on the 4-hour with that little move down. Um, we haven't get, exactly gotten follow-through on this, so it makes me think we're in a little bit of a B wave here. Um, come back down for another C. And then again, take off again after that. But sushi, I think, has some um, some great long-term potential. But I would ultimately look for the 3.618 uh, for sushi. Um, you know, for us to get over this, since we have an extended third wave here, uh, which could actually take us upward towards 100 bucks on sushi. So um, I think all in all, pretty healthy with where we're at at the moment, um, and some pretty good consolidation. If we go out here to the higher time frame. You can see that we also had the RSI just come down and test the bottom of the of the bearish control zone. Um, so we might get one more little lick down, um, just to again reset, create. A little bit more of a divergence piece to blast off of um, and really go from there so uh, sushi is definitely on my a little bit of a longer term radar um, but in my opinion that's where I'm looking to you know just continue to stack them at the moment uh, dogecoin let's take a look at some doge uh, doge to the moon so if you're not uh, paying attention to doge it is absolutely everywhere um, but you can see a pretty nice three wave move inside here for the third wave quick little fourth wave consolidation and I think you know right now what we're looking at is a fifth wave um, you know we came up and hit the 5.618 um, I'm only counting three waves right here which to me thinks I we can get up to at least uh, 16 cents here on doge um, and that would you know potentially could be a wave one come back down a little bit reset for our two and then blast off again for a three which you know that would be our track to get us up to one dollar one dollar doge so um, again something long term um, loving the excitement right now in the crypto space and um, in my opinion it is a great time to start to pay attention to it if you have not already um, because i think there's a lot of potential um, as we go through and we look at a lot of these so let me actually throw a little price tag on this guy here boom all right um let's see and uh and dot um let's take a quick look at dot so still on track for our last uh video that we did i in that 7.618 um you know i think we can get it looks like again we're in the fourth wave of the fifth wave a little bit of consolidation but 26 bucks ultimately is what i'm looking for here uh to finish off this fifth wave move 
um, and then potentially have a little bit of consolidation again after that. But it all is looking great for our prior videos. All is looking healthy for more potential upside. Um, haven't exactly created, uh, I mean, we have a little bit of the divergence, um, a little bit of bearish divergence, but I think with where we're at now, I think we'll get one more lick up and uh, tag that uh, 7.618 for that overextended fifth wave there. So cool real quick update guys um obviously if you want more updates um and want some more trade setups and that kind of stuff make sure you guys join in on the discord but of course smash the likes hit that subscribe button comment below um and uh, hopefully i'll see you guys in the discord